You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You'll not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient and focus. Be patient and focus. Two things I'm not very good at, but uh, let's try this. Let's give this game a shot. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. We are all doomed. Hmm. I, I don't know what to expect out of this game, guys. I hadn't really heard of this game before the other day. I found a notepad. It's blank, so I guess we'll be adding stuff to that. Give me the pills, son. I don't wanna I don't wanna drop them. I wanna I wanna take them. How do I? How do I how, how, I've got a bury no medical notes. I know these notes by heart. I don't wanna read them now. I can dismantle the barricaded window. Must be barricaded for a reason, so let's not. I have a alcohol distiller. Potatoes. The only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. And we got a wooden door. Let's let's do this. So is this game going to be spooks? Is that what's going on? The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. A camera. Okay. Cool. Give me that. Uh, my old useless medical bag. I mean... A, ba a bag's a bag, bro. I'm taking it. And a photo. December 6th, 1985. Uh, is that a face? Is that, is that what's going on here? So, the reason I heard about this game, and the reason I'm playing it, essentially, is that the developers did something very bold, and they said, rather than having people download this game or buy this game from key resellers like G2A and other sites like that, They'd rather have you get this game for free from a pirate website or from a bootleg site or whatever you want to call it, man. You know we all download illegal stuff. And, uh, but this one's not illegal. They, they uploaded it themselves, which I think is really fucking cool. They said if you cannot afford to play this game, play it. Go ahead and play it. If you like it, of course, support it and, and try to purchase it. What is that sound? I'm trying to talk here. Um, but I thought it was really cool that they basically said take, take the game for free. If you cannot afford it, we want you to play it. Let's see, a container. The lock is jammed long ago? Never mind, I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. Hmm. Part of me doubts it's just useless junk. Oh, we can run with shift. Go figure. Well, yeah, I'll pick up the medical, medical bag. Oh, there sure is some. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Lock who in there? Oh, yeah. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. Huh. I wasn't expecting this top-down situation. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. So, I guess I used to be a doctor, or I guess I would technically still be a doctor. Dismantling this now would be suicide. Okay, then. I'll see no stinking wardrobe. Oh, wait, I have not gone in here, have I? There we go. You can only select and interact with objects in your reach. Okay, I already figured that out. Radio Unitra. The radio's been silent for years. Although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. <laughs> okay. Medical notes. I know these notes by heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The wardrobe. Some alcohol. I guess that's how I have to pick up items. I gotta drag them. Drag them to my inventory. The key with for the front door. My medical book. Huh. So is this the uh, disease we're fighting here? Looks like it uh, eats you alive or some shit. Alright. I can... Oh, okay. So if I hold the click down, I actually have additional options. The, Jesus fucking Christ. I know this game's not that scary yet. Use key. There we go. I have options of barricading. I can barricade the house. Wooden doll. A large humanoid, humanoid doll with a carved out face. A dead dog. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Well, that's grim. Why wasn't he in the fucking house? Why is he sick? What did you do? I blame you for this. How do I end his suffering? Poor little guy. Oh, I got to get out of here. So, he said he thinks there's gas to the east. I mean, I'm hoping this is laid out on a north, north, east, uh... You probably just saw me point the opposite way. But essentially, east should be to the right. Use space to vault over obstacles. 
Oh, stop whining, little doggo. I can't, I can't do nothing for you yet. An axe. Oh, don't make me do it. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Hush, little pupper. Hush, hush, puppo. Okay, it, it's not giving me the option to use the axe on the dog. I guess I should be grateful. Let's go ahead and move along here. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Fuck that shit. What's this? Nothing. With your weapon selected in your hot bar, hold right mouse button to take aim, then left mouse button while aiming to attack. Where's my hot bar? Right mouse button to take aim. Oh, but don't tell me I gotta do that to the dog, though. We'll be back for him later. Bear trap. Oh, dead cow. Oh, I guess I'll take that bone. Thank you. Can I reset this trap? That seems smart. Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. Okay, well, I t I'm taking it with me, so hopefully that comes in handy later. Uh, location found. Path. Alright, alright. To access the map, press M. Oh, very interesting. Your position in the map is not marked. When you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. Your current location is indicated in red. In order to not get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to determined locations and landmarks. Oh, very interesting game. I like what you're doing here. Fallen tree. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is going to get confusing real fast. They did say in the beginning to focus. And I said that I'm not very good at that. So, let's try not to get actually lost in this fucking game. Hold left control or left shift when clicking on it. Oh. Hey, hey, there we go. We're learning shortcuts around here. Oh, I'm going to get so lost. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Can I do that? Let's see. A torch and a torch. Oh, because it's... Okay. I have enough uh, for one torch. So let me see. Let me go ahead and add... Stop it. Okay. Let me go ahead and add the torch to my hotbar. Nice. There we go. I'm sure. I'm sure it burns out after a while. There we go. Yeah, this part of the woods is fucking dark, man. Abandoned house. What in the fuck is this? A corpse. In a few days, it'll be completely absorbed. Absorbed by what? The earth? I'm, try I'm trying to keep a move on. What in the fuck is this? That looks like a half man, half beast. I'm not down with that. Dude, I feel like I should head back to my house. Is someone sacrificing animals out here? Oh, yeah. We're getting good and lost. Good and lost, man. A living person? I think this one is still breathing. Hello? Unconscious man. Oh, yeah. Let me just steal this fucking key out of your pocket. Uh, squeeze me. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh yeah, it's just getting grim. But that... Is of no importance. Dude! The protagonist is a fucking madman. I guess if you're put into a situation like this, you might do some wild shit too, eh? Where are we? Okay. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I'll let you go. Are we back at my house? He did say he had locked somebody in the other room of the house. I sometimes hear a voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Am I uh, losing my fucking marbles? 
I think it's safe to say some marbles have been lost. Where's the exit? Where? Oh, he's tied up in a chair. Okay. Show me where. Oh, shit. Oh. Damn, son. Suits already, like, probably half dead. We're just beating the shit out of him. Oh, Lord. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Huh. The fucker stole my key. Am I playing as him now? I'm playing as the other guy now. So fucking weird. Wire and rag. Could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Not a bad idea. There we go. I am locked in a tiny room and I don't know how to progress. Yeah, if only I had a lockpick. Oh, I can craft one! Of course, of course. This game is not that brutal. Jesus. So far they've been seeming to give me everything I pretty much need. Unlocked. There we go. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, we have a flashlight and a shovel. Alright, alright. I'm getting the hang of this. Wait, what was that? They, he said there was an entrance into the... A small cellar. What, is the container the... The cellar is the container? I thought a cellar was like a whole room. Fuck this shit. We busting out of here. The item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. How do I do that? I can repair it on a workbench. Oh, Jesus. Well, I suppose that's why I have a flashlight, huh? Oh, that hardly helps at all. Well, okay. We've got a cage. Nothing in there. Oh, it's a combination lock that I don't have the fucking combination to. He said, who's there? Is that the guy? Oh, that's another prisoner. The radio. Okay, nothing going on there still, of course. Got lamps. It's so we're, we're back at the house. We're at the, uh, the first guy's house. I better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Woo. You know, it's a bad situation when you're better at the, you're better off at the place that you've been kidnapped to than, uh, fucking outside. What now? What am I missing? Is this... I'm sure this, uh, wooden door, yes! This game is really fucking interesting. Switch the generator on. Does that do a damn thing? Probably not. Barricaded window, a metal table with leather belt strapped on. I have a feeling this doctor is doing some vile shit out here. Probably in the name of hoping to uh, cure this disease, but Jesus. Why not just leave? Gasoline! Hey, We're making progress out here. To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, hover your cursor over the generator, hold right mouse button, followed by left mouse button. Alright, a little convoluted. When did this corpse get here? The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. Turn on the generator! Turn on the generator! Alright, bro. I'm working. I'm working on it. Where did where did it go? I could have swore the generator was here and not this fucking corpse. Oh wait. Oh, okay, it's over here. How did I how did I miss the corpse the first time? Very strange, man. Glug 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 glug. Drink up, little generator. We've got work to do. I mean, should I fill up the whole fucking thing? I guess so. I don't know. The tank is empty. Alright, we got power! So that means I can turn my flashlight off. Or, yeah. 4892. We got the code. Hey! There we go. 
Am I still using the flashlight? I don't want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna unequip it. Or Yeah, there we go. Okay. How do I uh Okay, oh I see. God damn it. Ah eight nine two Got it. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force on it. What kind of force? What do I gotta do? I can't use the shovel to bash it in. Now it's just the radio again. Very strange, man. It's like I need to find like a lever or a crowbar, maybe? That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. But I don't see anything. Maybe I should equip my uh, flashlight. I'm so afraid of running out of battery of the flashlight. That's my fucking problem here. A syringe? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Oh, no. A table leg. When did I get that? There we go. That's the fucking uh, lever that I need, probably. There we fucking go. There we go, there we go. Another room. Oh shit! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh shit! Die, bitch! Die! One more. One more. There we fucking go. You're a dead man now, sucker. Plastic chick. Oh, that's weirdly creepy. I'll take it. Who knows? I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Jesus fucking Christ, that guy tried to kill the shit out of me, man. I thought I was rescuing somebody out here. And how do you want to get out now? Who is saying that? You think you can manage all by yourself? Oh yeah, this game is fucking spooky. He says, hear it? Uh, hello? Holy shit, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Oh shit! Goddamn fucking demons! Fucking hell, man. Well, that was unexpected. Was this a scripted event? Was I supposed to die here? I was gonna try to smack the shit out of some guys, but the, they kind of overwhelmed me. And I was a little spooked. Saving game. We made some progress, man. Chapter 1. Oh, that was just the prologue. That was just the prologue that introduces the story. Well, holy shit. They certainly set the tone, man. Wow. So that's kind of just a tutorial and also setting up the story. I thought that was really great, actually. I'm surprisingly impressed by this game. But I think I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out to the end. I always appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. And other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.